A Sara massive rally to push for frontier Nagaland state. So what is the significance of this rally? And was such a massive gathering on expected lines? Uh, well, yes, Pooja, the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization today uh, held a public rally in all its eastern area jurisdiction, which covers six districts compri comprising of uh, the seven tribes from the Eastern Nagaland area. Well, the Eastern Naga People Organization have called, uh, have have uh, have organized this uh, Mammoth Rally to press for an early creation of the Frontier Nagaland or a separate statehood. Well, the ENPO has been demanding, it has been a long aspiration of the Eastern people that a separate uh, statehood should be carved out of the present Nagaland and the demand comes in line due to the uh, due to the problems being faced by the eastern people in terms of development uh, employment if we say so social economic and political scenario in the state as well although the eastern naga people organization have time again reiterated that the naga solution and the aspiration of the eastern people which is for the creation of a separate statehood uh, are two different subjects uh, in the wake of any prolonged, in the uh, in the event of any prolonged derail in the much-awaited political solution, the Eastern Naga People Organization have appealed to the government of India to uh, come out with a roadmap to fulfill the demands of the Eastern Naga People's Organization. Well, Puja, if we look into it, the ENPO, uh, as I've mentioned, it has been a long aspiration of the Eastern Naga people to have a separate statehood uh, with with reasons uh, on the. the uh, development, employment, social, economic, and political sector as well. The first memorandum of the ENPO, uh, uh, the first memorandum from the ENPO was submitted to the Prime Minister of India in the year 2010, December. Okay. And uh, and it has, and, and so far the ENPO had already had four rounds of bilateral talks and, and a tripartite meeting between the government of India, the government of Nagaland, and the ENPO officials, whereas the uh, whereas the ANPO had also submitted a, rep a public representation addressed to the Prime Minister of India on uh, October 13, 2000, uh, 2021, last year, but uh, but but there is but they are yet to receive a response from the government of India on this matter. Okay. And hence, in a memorandum that was presented to the Prime Minister of India through the respective DCs, Deputy Commissioner, the ANPO have urged, have appealed to the government of India to respond to the October 13, 2021 representation and also come out with a roadmap uh, and carve out uh, and carve out uh, and carve out a separate statehood as per the aspirations and demands of the ENPO. Now, Sarah, what, according to you, could be the impact of this demand on the Naga peace talks? Well, Puja, like I have mentioned, the Eastern Naga Pop, uh, People's Organization time and again have made this stand very clear that the Indo-Naga political solution and the demand for a frontier statehood, frontier Nagaland, are two different subjects. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the demand for a separate statehood uh, comes in line with the, uh, with, the negligence of the, uh, with the negligence in the Eastern area jurisdiction with regard to development, employment, even in terms of the socio-economic and political uh, state in the state. Uh, uh, in the state of Nagaland. So on that line, the ANPO have time again reiterated that people should not mix or judge the two subjects together. The ANPO have been uh, have been firmly, have made their stand very clear that they are in full support to the Indo-Naga political solution. However, the demand of the ANPO for a separate statehood remains different. The ANPO have also had uh, several meetings with all the Naga negotiators, appealing them to support the demand of the ANPO for for the creation of a separate statehood and in line and in line to this uh, as the naga people awaits for a final solution to the indo naga political issue the enpo have appealed to the government of india and also to the naga negotiating parties to uh, keep in mind that the demand of the naga uh, the demand of the eastern people still stands firm for a separate creation of a frontier nagaland state